Hello everyone, we have another island tour today and this is the island of Woodbury and it is by CoralCove.acnh on Instagram and I wanted to give a little shout out to Coral's map for Woodbury. I'll put it on the screen. I just want you guys to see how beautiful this map is and actually Coral said that this map was drawn by their daughter. I cannot believe that, that's so cool. So I just wanted to show you guys that beautiful map design. Um, and I also wanted to give a shout out to Pemberley underscore crossing. Brianna and her mom, they said that they love to watch my videos. And that just made me feel so special, like more than they think. So thank you, Brianna, for that wonderful comment. And this is a springtime overgrown forest theme. And I love overgrown forest or like any forest. So I'm so excited to get started. And we got a ladder, awesome. Mum's wand, what is this? I wonder, okay, wait, I, it's the flower wand, but is it a, okay, so it's a yellow one. And then we got a Cosmo one. I love the, mo the mum's one better. And then a green balloon, awesome. All right, so we've got like two themes going on. Oh, I love that little sock. What a cute little entrance. So this is Coral Cove's entrance. I really like the pathway that they used. And you can just already see there's a lot of trees. And do you know why? This is like actually so interesting to put your island flag in the entrance. I don't understand why more people don't do this. Like it makes sense to put your flag right in the entrance. So maybe I should start, maybe I should put mine in the entrance. And we have the campsite in the entrance. Here's like a fake campsite with a bunch of these little kids tents and it's actually pretty big. So, oh my goodness. And then there's the real tent over there. So yeah, it's very hidden in a bunch of trees. This is so cool. And there's a bunch of tents. So, okay. And I love this little pillow, it has a little bear. I also noticed that book design, QR code. And we have another book design. And little waiting area. Ooh, musical place. A lot of plants on the beach. And a writing area. Whoa, this is a big stack of pillows. And there's a typewriter right on the pillow. Oh, beautiful. A beautiful campsite, this right here. This little festival item. It frames the tent so well. That is so interesting. So we've got a little beach campsite right there. And a picnic area with a bunch of pumpkins and vegetables cornucopia oh yeah I love these dining areas there's a feast going on oh this is a nice huge flower that looks like a carpet I don't know if it's a carpet but yeah it's just a huge flower and this is someone's house. Oh my goodness, we did not check. The map, Woodbury, this is Holly. And these are their villagers. I love Fang so much. Literally want him. And this is Woodbury's map. So here we have a villager's house. They have a library right next to their house whoa 
Oh my goodness. Little post-it notes. Or papers. And a little blanket. I'm gonna have to go up. I really love those stumps. Maybe there's a pathway. I see a campsite. Right there. Okay. Well, oh my goodness. That's so pretty. There's a hammock here. Whoa. There's actually things up here, so... Whoa. I made it. Here is a sewing area. And the tea. I think this is where someone does their homework. And go to this village's house. Okay, we were right. No, we weren't. We weren't here. So we got a hammock under the coconut trees. And a campsite. And I really like how people put a bunch of plants on the beach. It looks like... The beaches look pretty plain, you know. Putting seaweed and plants, flowers, make it look way better. And here's the dock, a little riding area. I love this little Japanese cherry blossom umbrella or parasol. That is very spring. And then we got the stone hedge on the beach. And pirate section with a bunch of barrels. Whoa. So here we got a wishing well, a place where you wish and throw it in there. That dark hole looks so scary actually. And we got a little tea party going on. With the bear sitting down. And we got a little reading area a little private area for you to hang out on the beach and we got a, the ultimate campfire right here and we have laundry going on and a, a, a bathtub on the beach on the rocks I just always want to turn this off and turn it back on. Okay. This is a fish. <laughs> I never turn on the light because I feel like it hurts their eyes or something. So I just keep the lights off. Because the fishes have... They deserve... They deserve happiness. So this is someone's house. This is Bone's house. He's got a little fishing area. I love this little private lake that he can just get as many fish as he wants. And, ooh, look at this new mushroom from the Mario update. That aw That's awesome. It blends well with the green. And we got a little campsite. And... In here, we got the Red's Beach. That looks so cool. It looks very nice put together for him. That's really great. So that's really cool. It's like a little private beach. You know, that would make sense to make this part a campsite because you would have your own little private beach. I feel like that would be a great destination for camping. So that's a good idea. And here, we've got a little laying, a place where you can lay down. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
I love when there's so many trees. And I really appreciate how Coral has their areas like spread out and just like in the woods. Like a lot of mini areas in the woods. That's so cool. Ooh, it's cool. So this is Teddy's house? I believe so. Bill! Teddy, get out of Bill's area. And we got... Oh, I think this is the bridge. Oh my goodness, hello. This is the bridge, and yes, they did the, the little railing. That is the little swinging bench. So, yeah. That's like another way to do fences now. And it looks more detailed. Yeah, here's the land bridge. It's really big. Okay, so we should turn right left i mean this is where i was okay so we are actually going back oh got the eggs in the nest very natural codes dun, dun. And, ooh, love this bridge area. Ooh, pretty. I really like how cluttered this section is. It has a lot of QR codes on the ground. And we have a picnic area. And I like these shoes. Yeah. So I think that this is their house. Yes. So I'm excited to see the inside of this house. Let's go ahead and go inside. Let's see what's inside. Oh, yes. All right. We got the cottage going on right here. And I love this wood, wood burning stove. So here's like a little cottagey living room. And we also have the kitchen in here. This is awesome. I really like how it's a mini kitchen. Wow. So yeah, we've got the living room and kitchen up in here, and sewing room. So we can go ahead and go to this top room. And this is their bedroom. First of all, the wallpaper. And I also use this bed too and in the light color because it looks so cute and this is a cozy little room 
And I love how there's a bunch of clothes hanging on the wall. Very nice. So that's the bedroom. And we can go ahead and go to this right room. And we got the bathroom. So got the toilet right there and the tub is in the middle of the room. It's interesting to have this yellow tub. I've never seen that one, but yeah, definitely goes with this room. It looks like there's a lot of light colors. I love the candles in the bathroom, man. You have to have some candles in there to make it look super, like, relaxing. Ooh, I love when there's, like, the lights are all the way turned off. And we got the candles. What is this? A little witch area. Okay, well, yeah, this is actually giving me um, a witchy vibe. Um, actually, no, it looks like a little cottage for... The gnomes it looks like their house i think so so yeah this is like a very cluttered room i think it's the gnomes house so yeah they're here cooking it up so that is this room the gnomes have their own huge room and then lastly let's go ahead and go downstairs what oh my goodness i love how the the floors have like little splashes and there's a duck here so here's a little pondish creek and oh my goodness this is where they dream so here we got nature all the way in the house and that was their house I already see a Mario flower, fire flower up there. Those things are very nice. Oh, we got a bed. Wow, that's interesting. And here's a library. And I love when people put a little ladder to climb up to get books. And yes, that's the exact tent that I used. The kids tent that I used for my spring um, picnic speed build. That, that literally looks like spring. So I was like, man, if I don't even use this, what am I going to use? So here's a train station. And I love that those train tracks, I've never seen ones with. Flowers? Wait, okay, so I think, yeah, these are the same flowers of the, of this code right here, so that fits very well. It's a little train station. And we have houses over here. This house over here, exterior. And they are both kind of like put together against this little waterfall. Teddy's house is actually over here. Eric. Eric is literally 
uh, have no words to explain how much Eric means to me. I've never had Eric. Because I literally have Sherb and Stitches, so two lazies. And Eric is a lazy. Why are all the good ones lazy? They actually are all basically lazy. They have the same personality, so I cannot have that many of the same. So here's a little private lake island. Wow, that was actually really cool. Having this like little island that you just go through and like we're here. It's like a little island and then you just connect it with the bridge. That's a really good idea actually. And we'll actually go up these stairs. And this is Apple's house. And Apple has the orchard. That's awesome. Perfect. So they run the orchard right here. And we got a lot of trees. Okay. So yes, okay. Another person who only has one tree of each fruit I like love that look so much oh my goodness it's actually so interesting to see lathers and his tent and I would just see how that would fit so well I just want to see how it looks like it's been a while since I've seen the tent oh do you see how cute that is seriously Oh my gosh, nothing will beat this little cute little tent setup that he had. Blather, is that a- oh my gosh, I love this desk too. Wow, that is really, really cool. I just love to- that they didn't even upgrade the tent to the museum. That is so cool, and I love how the tent looks inside and outside. It looks like it's fit for a jungle. So that was the museum, and it was so interesting. Uh, hello, that was creepy. You came out of nowhere. Sweet dreams, thank you. I <laughs> just saw you standing there. And we've got an overgrown beach, and we got a little school area. Wow, casual learning. Wow, imagine you, you go to school, and you're like, let's go to school. Sorry, I almost ran over this flower. Let's go to school. And you just sit down on this log. And then you learn. Now that's what I call casual learning. Why is Teddy everywhere? He is teleporting. So here we got a little lumber area. Where you cut the trees. And I think that this is where they make a bunch of like furniture out of logs. And yeah, carpenter area. Teddy, you're everywhere. I'm kind of getting scared. Do I have a... Alright. So, I do not have one. But maybe... I can make my way there another way. So, we actually have this section... Over here. And then there's a bridge. And we are on our way to Nook's Cranny. We got um, a pathway of logs leading us. And Nook's Cranny is right here. And I love how it's surrounded by codes and trees. That's just like my favorite part of this island. Is that the floors are not bare at all. Because if you have an overgrown forest, you need everything to be covered and and we have a dog area a dog little park and a little dining area yeah this is like a little park it's like a little picnic area right here and I want to see, wow, that's so cool how you can sit right here and just look out. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, that is huge. 
That is a huge um, lake water feature. That is a very cool feature. I actually want to see more of that. This is a entrance to someone's house. And a little farm right above Nook's Cranny. And then we got Able Sisters right here. And then this is Able Sisters. I love this. Whoa, we've got another lake. And another picnic area with Dubliners. And I really like the blanket. So we got a little bakery section. And we got the oven right there. Ooh, I really love that bridge or love horizontal bridges. They add a lot of detail. And we'll cross the bridge and there's a bunch of water on the island. Thank you guys so much for watching this tour. Please give CoralCove.acnh a lot of love and tell me what your favorite part of this island was. Um, and I will be posting very soon. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you in another video. So thank you so much. Goodbye guys. Also, we already hit 400, which I am so happy about. I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway, so I will be doing that video soon, announcing what the giveaway is, and it's going to be very simple to enter. All you have to do is subscribe, and we already hit it, so that is awesome. I'm going to announce that video very soon.